in North Korea, modernity hasn't touched yet. Things are still so, so pure in the back, or back in old days. In North Korea, the worst thing you can be is being individualistic. And in some ways, I, sometimes I feel that living in America, there's too much emphasis on being individual. <laughs> uh, I sometimes just want to find some middle ground in between. Because, you know, the humans, another humans makes our life worth living on this earth. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny Park. I'm a North Korean de facto human rights activist. Today in this video, I will do another long request video. A lot of you have asked me that. You know, I know things are horrible, people are suffering. However, there must be something you miss about North Korea. So I will do that today. The things that I miss about North Korea. Uh, I really had to think about this through, you know, what do I miss? Like, what can be like possibly I miss there? And so number one, the thing I, I most miss about North Korea is people. Uh, I think in, I mean, to me, I went through a lot and see, like I saw what really matters in life and that was to me was people and family. So imagine right now, like someone drops you in a, in a castle filled with gold and diamonds and the best food ever and like there's nobody next to you and you're gonna be in there forever that will be probably the most miserable life you can have and i think because i was forced to separate from my family at 13 and i lost all the people that i cared the most and i think that's how i like learn like how important those people are in life and those things that i miss about north korea is that my people there who I shared my childhood together, who I went to school, you know, the teachers, my classmates, and most of all my neighbors, and my uh, remaining families who I don't know if they are still alive. So yeah, let's talk about North Korean people today. Uh, the, the connection that I had with them is also very different the connection that I have with the people I you know, built a relationship outside of North Korea. The reason is that, you know, here in, in here, right, we really even interacting with our spouse, lovers, or our parents, children, there is always a presence of the technology, right, TV, the entertainment, you know, even radios, the smartphone, internet, and there's never you're going to be able to connect with somebody without modern de devices interference. In North Korea, modernity hasn't touched yet. Things are still so, so pure in the back, or back in old days. We can argue there are pros and cons about it, but I will talk about pros today. The, the best thing to live without this modern technology, especially this online, is that right, something we so amusing today, go to work, what we ate, what do we do? We don't like knock our neighbor door and go and tell them what happened to us, right? We're going to go on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, we share it. However, imagine doing this in North Korea. Whatever you did that day, you're gonna knock on your like friend's door or neighbor's door, you share them in person. <laughs> and how much connecting this is gonna connection, right? You're gonna feel with another human. So every those sharing that we do, I think it's in within human nature that we wanna share with others, the experiences that we live. And sharing is a very big part of our life even in modern world, right? Look at social media. How many people are using it to share what they ate, what they saw, what they think. But you know, North Koreans, because there's no internet and social media, they are almost forced to do in person. And we do it in a in a most amazing way that you know our neighbors like they go to work and come home the first thing they do is like coming to our door like sometimes they don't even knock the door just so expected they should like come in and tell us like what happened to their work and if something funny we all like joke and share the the joy they felt and you know as long as we make something even though in that most dark and horrible starting situation we still share sharing is something so 
common in North Korean culture that we, you know, the sharing food is very important part because, you know, food is very scarce and we share something that is most valuable to us. And I think that's what I miss about North Korea is that the sharing that I had with my friends, you know, I, every day I would just go to their house without even like letting them know or even sometimes knocking the just go in there and be part of their life like that. And right now I'm like, even this is a Christmas season and sharing season, I still have no clue who lives next door. Even if that person died, I will never know. And that kind of solitude and loneliness is something new to me. <laughs> That's the thing, like even though we got like hundreds of different ways to connect virtually to other people, it's very hard to connect people in person to person here living in America right now. I mean, before even COVID, I think it applies. But in North Korea, despite everything that they don't have, the things that we have here, but still people, they have each other. and. You know, people do not feel that much loneliness there. And I think what cares the most in, not during the COVID years, but normal years, right? Countries like Japan or South Korea that really highly developed economies, the people really suffer from being alone and loneliness. That cures the people most from depression. And in North Korea, I think something we can learn from them still because uh, in a way, whenever I look at North Korea, it's almost like a social experiment, right? Like, where do we find in this 21st century, 2020, looking at the people who, you know, who doesn't have freedom to go even visit their family and cannot leave their country, no internet, and do not even know what that is. And looking at North Korea, how their life is so different is that we certainly definitely something can learn from them. And I think that is uh, appreciating and valuing human interaction above the interaction that we have virtually. There is nothing can replace that, in my opinion. So in this holiday season, right, that's what I really miss. I wish like uh, in this like holidays mornings, we in the neighborhood, we all gather. So because of there's no freedom of movement, we can't imagine we're going to buy a train ticket or bus ticket, airplane ticket to see our family if they live out or like far. Usually North Korean people are actually way more closer to their community they are living in and the, their neighbors. So therefore, instead we gather, you know, looking our families visiting each other during these holidays, we spend with our like community. We gather like if someone has a big house, and they're more like leader in the family. We go their family and bring what we have, the food that we made, and each family bring what they can. And they host this something North Korean virgin party. And in this North Korean virgin party, guys, we don't have DJs. <laughs> we don't have this, you know, wines. We don't have this like fancy things that we got. However, we got some rice cakes, some, you know, if we get lucky, get some like meat soup, some dumplings, some vegetable, like potato dishes. Uh, and, and then adults would get some like rice uh, alcohol, the North Korean alcohol. And the kids, we just like play on the side together, all together. And we do this thing, something called like orake. It's like a music thing. So Norwegian people really, really love music. Despite they cannot, you know, like sing a lot of Western songs, but they still enjoy music through very in a creative way. Because we don't have 24 hours electricity, the instrument North Korea uses like accordions and guitars. It's the most popular instrument. And someone, we always have no who plays the accordion guitar and they sing, you know, they play this and someone will sing and dance together. 
so if you can see like even though you know those like special days we do get fed three times a day and through the our like community that days we share food and nobody's like left alone and in some ways like right now living here uh it's just uh you know i as much as i like this like development that west has made that ha as much as like this all these inventions that i enjoy i'm so grateful for but still i think i think maybe the where we are something we have forgot is like people that we we do not value human interaction as much that north koreans do and in north korea the worst thing you can be is being individualistic and in some ways i sometimes i feel that living in america there's too much emphasis on being individual <laughs> uh, I sometimes just want to find some middle ground in between. Uh, as I said, right, like, even if you got everything in this world, like, all the money you want, all the wealth you want, those physical material things you got, just imagine you're there alone. You know, that's just meaningless. That's why the things that we want to achieve in freedom, right, the success, good career, dreams, whatever we have, we all pursue them because we want to share that with other people so no wonder why i'm a humanity lover there are so many people fighting for you know like animals rights climate change so much more but i just feel like it's just people should really know the value of human another human and value why we need to take care of them if they don't have the rights like us because you know the humans, another humans makes our life worth living on this earth. For that note, I'm so hoping that you are not alone watching this video on this holiday season. I really hope that you are with somebody and even if you're alone, you just know that I love you so much and I will be thinking of you. I'm so grateful for all of you who share this year with me, who grew with me who you know share their love and ideas with me to how to make the world a better place together so thank you guys again for your love and i look forward to seeing you all very soon bye guys